Now the deck selection, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies has been so odd lately. I barely have any, well I don't, I don't have any of my standby oracles out. What's asking to kind of serve as the oracle is the final rose tarot deck, I don't know. If that means we have a relationship read or not. I heard a not. But I don't know about that. Yes, no. Okay. And yes, yes. Okay, so we have four. We have four of these. What's under the deck? Well, we have somebody getting ready to pick someone else. It's like somebody's going to turn up to pick someone else. They're like making their final decision and then they're going to do this. They're going to do this. And then it's like there's some sort of secrecy on this because There is something about making this public that would be bad. The selection is happening in secret to protect someone from malicious gossip. But someone is going to be getting to know someone else. Like this is like an interview or something. Someone's figuring out if like they have a good idea of who they want to select, but it's like they haven't really formally talked to the person yet. And so like they have to come in and talk to the person to figure out if there are any like red flags or things that this person's hiding that they can't tell from what they've seen already. Like there might have been like preliminary interviews or something like that but not an in-depth conversation. And then this person seems like they're gonna go away and like think about things for a little while. And like, there's something about this like getting out. There's something about this information like leaking, like somebody has an op, somebody has like a jealous up, who's going to talk to other people. Yes. Like somebody's pissed about this for some reason. But it's sort of like not going to stop the selection from happening. Because like whoever this is, after they meet this person initially, it's like they're not going to be able to get this person out of their heads. Like, I don't think that they're going to see any, like, red flags here. And then it's sort of like this person is going to be, like, there's going to be some sort of offer made. And, like, it's going to get out. It's going to get out and there are going to be people mad about this. But it's sort of like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter almost. Like, whoever's, like, against this, whatever it is they're going to be like shut down immediately. It's this person, whoever is doing the selecting or the interviewing, they are headed towards their candidate now. Here they are taking their leap of faith. This person might like Rocky and Bullwinkle because we have flying squirrel. <laughs> Maybe this person's Russian. Uh, I might be, you know, reaching with that one. Fearless leader. This person might be a spy. A spy? They're spying. Somebody's spying on someone else. Somebody's watching someone else. I don't think that they know. Like somebody isn't aware, maybe? Or that's the thinking. That's like the person going back and thinking about what they find out about this other person. Okay, it's a yes to both. 
right now, the individual that is doing the picking, the selection, they're like looking over candidates and they're like, hmm. And they are also like doing some sort of like obsessive work. Maybe there's like work that they're looking to like, it's sort of, there's a lot of things going on with this particular person. That it, and it seems like separate stuff. It seems like there's like this selection interview process going on and that's sort of going on with whatever like work, other work that this person is doing. And it's sort of like they have to, like they're going to take a break from this work to potentially go interview a specific person or go talk to multiple candidates for whatever this is. It's a king of pentacles doing this. And it's like they're weighing out the competition, these candidates maybe, and they're relatively disappointed, it seems like. They're like, uh, like I don't like these people, and then it seems like, I don't know, they're thinking about not doing, like they're thinking about calling the whole thing off. They're like, this is never gonna work. And then they find the right person. And then they make the offer. Then they're like really excited and wanna communicate and like come in, the emperor is gonna have an epiphany and then they're gonna make the offer. They're gonna find their person. The Empress. This is the person who will be getting the job. They're perfect. The Empress. So our little flying squirrel is taking leap towards Empress. There's some song like leaving on a jet plane. I don't know it y'all. That one I don't know. Leaving on a plane, I'll have to look it up. Going anywhere? Like I said, it seems like whoever this person doing the selection is, is like elsewhere in the country or like, they're potentially out of the country. I got to know on that. So whatever country you're in, they are in your country. Gosh, we're getting lots of the playing cards coming out. These are all like acting as oracles. And then we're going to get the tarot, but this is like complex layerings of energies here. All right, something is ending. Like it's a choice process. A choice process is ending. Yes, it's choices weighing options. This person is deciding on a particular candidate. They have found their one. Okay. There's something about funds. Two of that's weighing the options, two of diamonds. Okay. Gosh, so many cards wanna come out. Okay, yeah, there's the choice Choice for the offer. Choice for the offer. There's the offer. And then this person has to think. They're gonna think. They're gonna consider this before they communicate. And that's like, this is like this initial communication with the person and they're gonna be like, oh my God, like this is the one. And then there's gonna be a whole bunch of like excited energy from this person who seems like, 
I don't know. I guess this is a big deal sort of person. They're at the head of like a large system, but it's like they're super happy about whoever, whoever it is they're picking, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Like this is a good match for whatever this person wants to do. Yeah, we got the King of Pentacles with the um, Four of Wands. I'm really not getting this as relationship right now. It seems more like something this person wants to do. And then they're going to make the official offer coming in, the official offer, the official selection of the candidate, and it's going to be like amazing. It's gonna be super happy and it's gonna be a big shift in someone's materiality. I'm actually not getting that as poverty. I'm just getting that as like, in comparison to whoever is doing like the selecting or hiring, the person who they're picking like has a lot less, but like not in a bad way. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> it's like these two people's physical environments are very, um, are very different. And right now this emperor is watching whoever this is or whoever all of these candidates are. Like they're gathering information and things are about to shift. Not yet though. There's like, there's like a holding pattern or a holding period. Okay, so now let's see what's actually here. We have, ooh, someone. What is all of this? Oh, oh, oh! Okay. So, the candidate process. This has been going on with whatever project or whatever this person wants to work on, whatever the actual work is, because I don't know. And it's probably different for all of you. It's sort of like, this has been going on for a while. That's kind of like past energy. It's likely this person has been gathering information and like sorting through people for a while. And they have what also seems like is potentially in past energy is that they know who the person is. They know who their person is. Um, they have been held back, Eight of Swords, from moving, Six of Swords or Eight of Spades, Eight of Spades, Six of Spades. They have been held back from moving towards this person. This person is an influencer. So it's possible that these candidates, um, this person has seen them online, um, but this particular person, this one influencer, who this person hasn't been able to move towards, this is the one, this Queen of Pentacles, like this is like the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is like, this is the one who can hold the offer. This is the person who is the Empress. So this person like is a big is a big deal like this person has a lot of influence at least with this person or they're a big influencer in general. Okay. So now ah the contestant. So here is the like this person is going to be invited somewhere. Um possibly a party. A party, yeah, three of hearts, three of cups. It's some sort of party. Nine of um, wands and jack of diamonds. This might be like some sort of secret or exclusive event. That's what, it, like nine of wands is kind of like a firewall. Like this offer is behind a firewall. Like not everybody knows about this. The Nine of Wands, again, like there's some sort of like, there's some sort of blocking off of this thing. Whatever this like meeting or event is, like I'll look at this justice card, it's like blocked. Like not everybody can access this. 
okay. Self-elimination. Eight of Wands, Ace of... There's some sort of like communication going on. This is the Three of Swords. There's something going on here that like isn't good. Eight of Cups, somebody has to leave something. Oh, like I said, like these two people's worlds are very different. And it's like, something is going to be communicated. Self-elimination? I don't know, I was saying like, I thought that this was like the person after interviewing the candidate was gonna have to go and think, but it seems like whatever is told to this person, Ace of Spades, which has a little bit of a negative association in the playing cards, Eight of Clubs is Eight of Wands. This is some sort of rapid or passionate communication this person, likely the candidate, the empress who's getting selected, they're going to have to think about this and they are thinking about self-elimination, like not accepting this offer, like turning it down. I don't know why. Six of mirrors, silver lining, so somebody has to move. Somebody has to move. Queen of pentacles, magician, five of diamonds so this is like this person has to move away from that five of pentacles thing whatever that is in order for them to receive the offer in order for like the magic to happen they have to travel away from this five of pentacles or five of diamonds which is clarified by the page of wands and the seven of coins. This is something like this person has to think of, like there's something this person has to do, or there's like a new thing that this person has to do or like move away from in order to do or accept, do this thing or accept this offer. And I don't know that they wanna do that. I don't know why. Um, okay. So let's look at what was holding up the person making the offer, maybe details on what the offer is and how this person is of influence to this other person. We'll start with that. We'll look at what this event is. That seems like some sort of event. Um, we can put this away. This is all the event, 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 event. We will look at why this person would be considering turning down this offer. This is something that they are going to have to give thought to. And then I don't want to say what this, cause it's like they have to leave this five of pentacles and this seems like something you would want to leave. But it's like this person has to like, they're like really thinking about this. We'll look at the, what the Five of Pentacles is and what sort of action that they would have to take in order to go through with whatever this is. All right, so we're starting with the Eight of Spades, which is the Eight of Swords. Why this person, this is the selector, the person who is choosing candidates, why this person has not been able to act until now. You know, they just might have been deciding. Like they're in the Eight of Swords, so they're like, hmm, I don't know who. Oh, no, there's like a thing. There was a thing, a tower. There was a tower in this person's life. A drastic shift. Tower, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles. There was some sort of maybe drastic shift in this person's finances, tower. This person had to go somewhere. They had to go somewhere to handle this tower. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune chariot. This person had to go somewhere. Go somewhere for this shift or they were forced to. 
But whatever this is, there was like a big payoff or something involved. What's that tower? This tower is like, I don't know. It's some sort of, um, this just feels like something involved with this person's business. Like some sort of offer this person was pursuing that like made them good money. I don't know. That's what that is. So that's why they couldn't. But now like here's like they have money. Like it may have been that they needed extra funds to do whatever this project is. So what is this Ace of Pentacles? What is this offer? Well, it's coming from like elsewhere in the world. It is coming from elsewhere in the world. There's lots of competition for whatever this is. Lots of competition. This is the same message. Um, like I said, there's lots of competition for this. Five of Swords, ruthless competition. Hanged man. And the Knight of Pentacles. The offer is a competition? Maybe for an idea? Compete. I want you to compete for like Knight of Pentacles. It's some sort of competition. What is this? The offer has to do with some sort of competition for ideas. Empress Hermit. It's like the Empress has a good idea, maybe? Hermit. An idea that she's been keeping secret or hidden? Whoa, 10 of swords, 10 of wands. I don't, I really don't know what that is y'all. An idea, the herm, I mean, not the hermit, the hanged man. Upside down, um, language, receiving language, divine inspiration. The Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. I'm gonna leave it, y'all. I don't know. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Page of Cups. Five of Pentacles. It's sort of like, there's either lots of competition for whatever this thing is, or the offer is to participate in a competition. And it's about like some sort of ideas, but it's almost like, like this almost seems like the competition to me right now. It's like, there's gonna be lots of people, there's like, it's like very, very competitive and there's lots of different people and ideas. And then this Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This seems like, like, I don't know if this empress feels like she's up to this. It almost seems like whatever this thing is, it's like maybe she feels like she can't compete or doesn't want to compete. 
So this influencer, like, this is this empress, like who is this person? Why do they um, have influence over the person who is choosing the candidate or competitor? Secret, seven of swords, seven of coins, secret investment. Some sort of secret investment. Secret, the nine of um the nine of wands, it's like like I said, there's like something blocked off. Eight of coins, magician. This is some sort of like walled off work that this person is doing, some sort of, like it's something that, like that magician, when I say magical, it's like whatever, it's almost like potential. Like someone, maybe not everyone sees the potential of this person's work. Queen of Wands, it's like this, this person, the influencer, the empress, the Queen of Wands, it's sort of like, they're behind a firewall or like they're not like not everybody sees them but for some reason this person does yes and this like the whatever work that this person is doing that this person is seeing they are judging it is like very good like this is very good whatever it is and then this magician the Page of Swords, whoever this is, they're like secretly watching this. They are secretly watching this magic and they want to secretly invest in it. Okay, so what is this event? I am so confused, y'all. Well, it's someplace where um, this Queen of Wands, Empress, will have to go. The Hierophant, to see this person. About making, like, it's about increasing this person's notoriety. Queen of Pentacles and the Star. This might be on a boat. What is this Six of Pentacles? It's some sort of official event. It also seems like maybe the selection process. Either someone is traveling to this person or this per Ace of Wands. The Six of Swords is the Ace of Wands. It's a secret event. I don't know, the Seven of Swords, it's secret High Priestess. I was thinking maybe magic? Hierophant as well. It's secret. Yeah, seven of coins, like secret. Um, like this seems like secret, like not many people can see this. Not many people know about this. Like, cause the seven of Pentacles is like watching, someone watching. Not many people are able to watch this thing or know about this thing. It's potentially a magical event with that Ace of Wands, or it's just exciting. It's an exciting event. Two of Coins. I don't know, the two of coins is like somebody wobbling, right? I, I swear to you, it might be on a boat. Doing flips and shit. I'm on a boat, motherfucker, don't you ever forget. I got a nautical theme, Pashmina Afghan. All right, now we're gonna see, like there's something that this person, the, the influencer, the person who is being made this offer, for some reason, 
this is like distressing to them or they're thinking about not doing it. There's like some sort of like grief involved in this. Why? This person also like that competition thing. It's sort of like, it might just be that the person making the selection has fought long and hard to find a candidate. Maybe like um, that empress, it's like, oh, that's what that was. Hold on, let's rewind the shit. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Hanged man, the empress, hermit, ten of wands, ten of swords. This knight of pentacles, this is totally, I had it from the wrong point of view. I'm rereading that. I'm sorry. We rewind. All right. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo. Until this person discovered this empress who they were looking long and hard for, it was just a whole bunch of disappointing, like, thankless work. That's what's going on there. This has been a long process to make this offer, and it was like this person had given up hope. That's what that means. Oh, my Lord. Where was that? Is this, like, I don't know that this is actually a competition. It's just that this person has been fighting for this or there was like fierce competition for the role. I think that's what that is. It's not an actual competition. I don't know. I'm hearing a no, it's not an actual competition. Okay, so whatever is being told to this person that has them like thinking, I can't do this, it's sort of like, this is either like it's overwhelming, feels unreal, or this person has dreamed about this. But there's stress because it's like success. Oh, five, um, suffering from success. Like, it might be that this is something that this person has dreamed about. It's like a dream offer, but like, now it's sort of like imposter syndrome, perhaps? Let me get some clarifiers. Um, Knight of Wands. That's still striking me as magic for some reason. Knight of Wands, or them being picked, Emperor, like being picked by this person because the Seven of Cups is like lots of options, right? And then someone picking the correct option. The stress. There's some sort of action or answer, there's some sort of action that this person, there's some sort of action that this person has to do in order to say yes, that is like stressing them out. What is the Six of Wands? The Six of Wands is the King of Swords. Well, um, we have seen this Emperor, whoever this is who is making this offer, King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, this person, has like a lot of like negative attention on them. The person who is making the offer, there is a lot of negative attention or negative shit around this person that they had to leave in order to make the offer. And it's sort of like there's something about that you know, self elimination. Self-elimination. I forgot what cards went with that. That might, in other reads, we have seen that this person, this might not, like I'm getting like the point of views wrong. Cause I'm thinking that the self-elimination is the candidate. The self-elimination is the person, is this emperor. This person had to like self-delete from a lot of different people. 
in order to take this action, in order to make the selection they wanted to make, there was stress to take the action because this person has like a lot of attention or something on them from like negative influences and they had to like eliminate themselves from that. So this is upset. So that's not, that's not the, the candidate. Okay, so what is this five of coins? So I still don't know um, how this other person is receiving any of this. What's this five of coins? Because I might have this point of view wrong as well. I'm saying that this person has to leave the five of coins in order to accept this, but like, it does seem like, so world knight of cups, Ten of coins. There's, there's something radical about this offer. Queen of swords. Okay, so four of coins, king of cups. This still seems like people from this person's path. Yeah, these are like left behind people. Four of cups. So there was, this is just talking about this other person. This person had to like withhold from like, it seems like people in general, people in their lives in general, in order to make this offer, which we've gotten that before. And that it's, so I guess this is this person now taking this action towards making the offer perhaps. So everything that I had said about the event or whatever else, likely none of that has happened yet. This is something that this person wants to do or is planning to do. And they're about to. All right. Yeah, this person went through like a, like some sort of process with relationships that they were in. Oh, this is the not seeing. This is, this person couldn't see something about specific relationships they were in that were draining them. And then all of a sudden they got clarity on it. That's something that's come up before. There was something this person couldn't see about people around them. And that was that whole process of like getting rid of people. Page of Wands. So death, this is some sort of drastic change of action. We've gotten that before. Four of Swords. That actually seems like someone actually dying. Devil. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. This person like had to kill off whatever these devil influencers were to be able to do this. That's the action that they've been taking in order to take this new action. This devil is like, like I said, this person was surrounded by like attractive people who they were giving to. That they had to stop giving to. They had to completely put that away. Yes, giving to, they were somehow feeding into like drama. Like they were giving funds or money or something to like stupid fucking people that they shouldn't have been doing this. It's possible that these people had this person's sexual attention. Like, I don't know. I'm hearing a yes. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, shoot, hold on. Where is my emperor? We're getting him back out. Maybe just the higher, let's do the hierophant instead because this person is showing up as the hierophant. Okay, so what is this hierophant's occupation? Drama. 
This person could be an actor. They could be involved in media in some sort of way. Theater. Um, movie making. Some sort of media thing. What industry is this hierophant in? What is this person's profession? Okay. Well, there's their candidate. There's some sort of event happening. There's some sort of event happening, a planned event where the offer will be made. And this is gonna be like, there's something about this change that like, I still feel like, there's something about this offer or this change or something that I don't know that the person who is being selected is going to like. I don't know. So this person's profession, um, This person could, oh. This person is like, some sort of deal maker? I have the two of flutes, right? So it's like cheers, like clink clink. The king of mirrors, which is the king of swords, the intellectual. And like the bachelor, this person is someone who is very sought after in whatever industry that they're in. And they're like some sort of deal maker. They also might be a bit of a whore. Okay. Is what I'm saying. Or they have been, or they're very sought after because when we have seen this person in other reads, we're saying like this person has a lot of options. They have a lot of attention on them. Yes. There's something public about this person, the limo, the chariot, like, Oh, public. I'm getting like public, you know, uh, maybe this, this person got around. They were a very eligible bachelor. Yes, this person has hurt a lot of people. <laughs> In whatever way this person has been behaving, it's like this person mixes business with pleasure. Um... And it's messed things up for them. And so I think this person has likely burned a lot of people. That's why people like are mad about whatever's going on. Like this person's kind of a piece of shit or they were. Um, what does the collective need to know about this? Also, I wanna know what the collective's not gonna like about this. You might just not like this person, to be honest with you. All right, that's what you need to know. What don't y'all like about this? Um, what do they need to know? There's something exciting happening at an event and an event, and I think you're gonna feel out of place. You're gonna feel out of place. Um, competition. There's a competition. That it seems like you've already won. Or, yes, you've already won this. Whatever this is, you've already won this competition. Yes, you've won. Whatever this competition is, it's like over. You have already won. Like the offer is being made to you. What will you not like about this? The advisor and the producer. It might be a role that, so, because it seems like the producer seems like this other person, the magician. Oh, this is, um, in, in tarot, the advisor is the high priestess and the producer is the magician.
there's something like spiritual or magical about this or it's sort of like this person because like the producer seems like like if this person's involved with media or whatever right like they are the ones that seem like the producer they're the ones who's making the magic happen the advisor it seems like um this person is asking you to advise them specifically maybe or this person is telling you something about how you work i got a yes on that it seems like something this person is telling you has got you in your head. Why? The executive producer, I don't, like it's something about what this person is telling you about what you do, maybe? Oh, um. Y'all, I really don't know. There's something on this though that y'all don't like. It's like you feel like there's something about whatever this person's telling you that's got you in your head. And it almost seems like you don't, there's something about like y'all feeling like, like you're not ready for this. You're feeling like, like you're not a match with this person. I don't know that you like the sort of, like you might not like this person's vibe or it's the sort of attention that they get. It also might be that like this person wants to like, cause I have this like possessive card here. It's almost like it could be that, cause like I've got like the late bloomer here. What is this actually? The Knight of Rings. It's sort of like you feel like you're not on this person's level, but it also seems like this person wants you by their side for some reason. And it's like either, like this is for the wrong reasons. There's some sort of like bizarre attention that this person receives or it's sort of like you're wondering about this person's intentions because it seems like they want to lock you into something and you don't know if it's for the right reasons i don't know it's something along those lines what is this producer or the magician and this seems very like media like ah. but this person doesn't they're not coming across to me like an actor or someone who is like public facing if this person is involved in like a media industry this is um this is someone who like the public wouldn't know but a lot of people in the industry would know like they're more of a behind the scenes person. I heard that they are also public facing, but they're not like, like this isn't some sort of A-list celebrity or something like that, but a lot of people know this person somehow. I'm looking at this magician. There's like uncertainty attached to this. It's like, it seems like whatever is being offered to you, it's a very like major gamble or a risk and you're like not sure about it. Like it's like, because this seems like odd, right? I mean, like, it seems like a very radical departure. This is almost like being picked because we have like the bachelorette here. Like you're a ma no matter what you think, right? Because we saw this person who was making the offer. They showed up as the bachelor. You were showing up here as the bachelorette. 
So in whatever capacity this person is making this offer, you are a match to them. But whatever they are asking you to do, it's some sort of radical departure in like lifestyle or work or something like that. And it's sort of like, it's a gamble. It's a gamble and I think you don't know about this person. And also this lifestyle. Are there any final messages or things that the collective needs to know about this situation? And then we'll peace right out. This is something that is good despite its drawbacks. And I think like eventually you're gonna see that. That you are right for the job, but it's like seriously, like you feel like this is the fresh meat card. Like, I don't know, there's something about this that you're just like, I don't know. I don't know. It's some sort of gamble or something like that. But it seems like, it seems like, like this is a good thing. It just comes with a lot. I, ah. All right, what does the collective need to know? Like this is some sort of radical departure. This is the edit. It's, this is almost like the movie of your life has been playing in one particular way. It's like you've been in a sitcom, right? A little family oriented sitcom about going off and going to school or going to work. And it's like a slice of life, a very quiet little slice of life movie. This is like someone taking that and just like splicing it in with like a high octane thriller action adventure. Drama. This is something, this is something, this has got to be something with media. And it's going to cause drama. Seven of Wands, it's like, I don't know, the center of some sort of attention that you don't, that you don't necessarily like. Paradise. But it seems like the benefits are potentially worth it and that you should take this leap of faith. Paradise and um, leap of faith. What is paradise? 19, I don't know what 19 is. Leap of Faith, Eight of Roses. Um, well, that's communication, but like, it's, I'm taking it as the leap of, like I'm taking it as a leap of faith. Ah, 19. It's the sun. Like I said, the benefits. Paradise is the sun. Whatever it is that you don't like about it, the disrupt, the disrupt, disruptive nature of it, the radical change, maybe the attention that you don't want or don't prefer. It's sort of like it's almost too good. It's too good and you should you should go for it because it seems like whatever this is, it's also aligned with your passion. I want to check on one more thing because I was confused about like this might be this person's stalkers. I just want to clarify this possessive card and what that meant. Because this might just be, you don't like the attention that this person gets or you don't like the way this person operates. I'm not sure. Okay, it's all of this. I don't know. Secret, secret. This person might want to keep you a secret, like under lock and key. Something about this they might not want to talk about. Well, we have the Knight of Wands, the Page of Cups, the King of Wands, the Chariot, and the Six of Coins. Possessive, possessive. I think just because of Whatever this person thinks about you, they think, because they're coming towards you, right? Because they think that you're good at what you do and that you would be an excellent fit for whatever this project is. And this project, whatever it is, means a lot to this person. So because the project means a lot to this person, this seems like something that's almost like a life's work. Because this project means so much to this person, it's sort of like they're 
feeling the same way about you because they think with you, this project will work. They will succeed. And so it's almost like they feel possessive over you. And whatever you do, I'm not reading that as a moment, at the moment as like, okay, it's kind of, as like a jealous lover. Um, but it kind of is. Like, like I said, this person is used to mixing business with pleasure. And so, like, the thing is, I don't get them being, like, weird with you. I don't get that. But it's sort of, like, the intensity. It's, like, it's all mixed up with this person. The intensity of their feeling about the project is mixed up in how they're feeling about you. And also, I get the sense that they are attracted to you. I heard, yeah, but this person's kind of attracted to everyone. This is kind of just who this person is. They seem like a bit of a whore. We're just going to end it there.